thank everyone for all the messages this morning and last night about the podcast really appreciate it Vicky does too because she was really nervous about it I'm uh, off today and I say that loosely I had to come out to the site this morning and meet someone that was taking so long and um, yeah give you a look yeah I won't, I won't let you down uh, hopefully no cunt Robs them chains on it. Oh, who'd rob him when he's in? Ah, uh, then what? He'd have no use for him. No use here. I'll take you up for your van. You're going the wrong way. Am I? The guy's behind us. Go that way. Sure, how would I know where you were parking that fucking shite? Yeah, I was sure you'll talk me through it, so. Oh, well. You should have been a teacher, lad. You're so clever, like, Greg. There's so many things that you know that no one else does, and you just remember. I was telling Gara, I was driving around with Greg last night, he asked me to take him out to drive. No, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah
How many goals did you get? Four. Well done. Push! Or pull, I mean. Yeah, Whose birthday is it tomorrow? Jane's. Sing happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jane. Happy birthday to you. Yay! It's two tomorrow. Let go. No. That was a very slow two year. I thought it was actually no. fine. Are you, are you recording me? I'm calling him. Figgy's in bad form. I'm not in bad form, I'm tired. I know, she's tired. Didn't have a lot of sleep this week because Jane has been... Teething. Scuttering is the word I used. She's teething. Every time I had a toothache, I didn't scutter. No, thank God. Could you imagine I've cleaned up that? Have you ever cleaned up my shit? I have to think about that. The back of the toilet doesn't count. The back of the toilet does count. Doesn't count. Every morning and evening. Oh, no. And your vomit. Done that too. When I did actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, thanks a million for all the messages. Um, especially all the compliments to Vicky. For one that was so nervous, she was... Do I want uh, me to quit the podcast and give the reins to her? Take it on. What the, no, no, my stomach was sick all day last week. My God. Well, You'll do another few with me sometime. Yeah, maybe. Um, and then if Vicky wasn't tired now, she's definitely going to be tired because we have a lot of falling to do. Please. Oh, Vicky. You can't see, but she's holding my other hand and I won't tell you why. Trying to grab my boob. Technically, it's mine. Oh, it's out of bounds now. <laughs> Why? Because. Did I do something wrong? Yeah, it's out of bounds now to do it. Why? I'll tell you, I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I did. <laughs> Let go of my hand! <laughs> <laughs> she told me what i done wrong. She told me what i done wrong. Because I'm never here. I never said that. And she said, she said Ma was gone. And I was work. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you go away with that camera? <laughs> Get rid of that, dude. Come on. Get me over here. Oh, the Protestants up to their old tricks. Another few more minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well. I'm done. I think so. Yeah. Your buns are done. Come on. What do you... You let me get out of the oven for it. You're shocking. Come on. Yeah, that's my one. That's my one. This is it. This is the only way I can get you out of the office. Oh, oh, oh. oh to be grand. <laughs> uh, Vicky's bacon for Jane's party tomorrow, which she's having at three o'clock. So if I don't have the buns now, I will only get the leftovers at around half six, seven o'clock tomorrow evening. Because uh, daddies, don't, daddies don't get to go to their daughter's party because they have to work. It's just beautiful. So if there's any man out there that is there a bit worried about marrying a Protestant, yeah, there's, you should have fears. You should have certain fears. You know, like, where is the toaster? <laughs> where is the toaster? But this is not one of them. Try to fatten you up so there's no one else to take it. The most productive part of my night, except for one issue that I'm having, I'll show you. Just one second now. See the tape gone. No tape goes to waste here. You know what I mean? Like, Josh. Thursday night in our house used to be getting up on the good foot and doing the bad thing. But now it's 
wait until the kids go to bed. Vicky starts folding and I start checking, counting and stacking. Take me long to get to work. That doesn't mean I'm not going here a little bit tired. I didn't go to bed at about two o'clock last night, but then we showered and stuff and unpack stuff and warm up on the system. And, uh, now I didn't have to kill Baird today, so. Now that's not to say that what I'm doing today isn't vital and important to our industry. And if you see Mark on my nose, Mark went nose there. Vicky hit me. Ah, no, I won't even say she did. Well, Jane did. Jane got into the bed last night. Just went. <laughs> hit me straight in the face. And he broke my nose. Jay Chaps. What? Now, you've often heard me talking before about forestry. It's a, it's a game of skill and finesse. And Adam, as you know, is four year into a ten year course. But you probably don't know him as Adam. You probably know him as Super Army Soldier. <laughs> Super Army Soldier. And you know you don't pick this shit up off the ground. Well, some people do, but that makes them shy. And when's the big day, Adam? Monday. Monday. Monday is the big day when the great and powerful Cormac McGillicuddy comes out to assess Adam on the harvester. There'll be one more notch on his belt to be coming. Now you're not there yet. No. And it's especially difficult with Adam because one, he's an awfully man. And number two, he's a super army soldier. You know, sorry, I was saying, you know, super army soldier. Observing. Type of man that shoots first, asks questions later, detonates that bomb, then figures out his surroundings murders people in a dark room before he figures out who they are. So we're trying to teach him the way of the forest samurai. And you know, we're a long way, long way from, from there. It's only a four year and a 10 year course. But John and Barry have put a lot of time into him and Dara and you know, me and Greg, Gara, we're gonna... We do our best, Adam, don't we? We do, them. we do. We do our best. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll give that two cuts. Two cuts. Yeah, yeah. As many moons ago since Norman assessed me. In fact, I think he only assessed me with one machine. It was Ted Keller before that, I think. Ah, oh, the memories. I'm going to be hitting you with some quick fire questions as well, Adam. So don't think you're going to get away with too much today. Okay, David. Where are you not allowed to make love? The machine. Head and safety. What's the most important tool or implement in the harvester? Measuring tape. Measuring tape. Because if you don't measure right, you're just an expensive axe with a stupid cunt holding it. That's all. That's all. That's no good. Joshed. Ah, let that half try again. Jeez, that left fucking tape and all anywhere. Dirty bastard. Anyway, that's how you cut 160 ton an hour. Daddy and Mr. Don't worry, heavy. I don't know what's more stupid, your face or my hair. That's it. Nice one, textbook. Uh, you're getting there, Ari. It's an amazing what a couple of hours with a fucking genius do. Is it true that when you were out in the wild surviving doing your super army soldier shit that when you catch food and if it was a little bit gone off or you weren't certain about the disinfectant you'd rub it along the top of your penis? Is that true? That's true. Interesting. Oh, look, it's Andy Bubbins. Oh, hello Andy Bubbins. Oh, there's me, Cuddy. Happy birthday to Mick. Happy birthday to Mick. <laughs> 
again I want to apologise for my hair I want to apologise for his face and happy birthday to one of my best friends Mick Cuddy same birthday as my best youngest daughter <laughs> I was shocking clever last night and stayed up really late updating the system and then forgot to tell everyone what I updated it with so I put up new polos and I restocked in the polos and the chronic pain t-shirt I ran out with that fairly quick and what else did I do? Yeah, that's really it. I was just asking Adam there what what he would do if he was gonna assassinate Putin. Would he assemble a team and would he be like a hammer and you know go at everything, everything's a nail then, or would he be selt? You know, infiltrate, snake in the back door of the Kremlin, slice his throat. Textbook. Yeah. <laughs> well, and he picks it up quick. He picks it up quick. Sure, he was only telling me earlier on that it only took him two days to learn the bazooka splits. And that's where in the army you have to when you're using the bazooka. But the enemy is pointing their guns at you. Then like that. You drop and do the splits and then shoot them. All their bullets miss you. Bazooka splits. Awesome. Did you know Adam can hold his breath for 15 minutes? And he can run flat out for about, what is it? Sit 15 minutes without pulling up. Yeah. Yeah. That's Adam. Sure, sometimes when he's reffing. People go, Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Hello, birthday girl. Are you having a good day? Yeah. Don't tell me to go away, I'm only in the door. that awesome part of the evening where kids are gone home, Jane's wrecked tired and is gonna probably cry until she cuts out. And yeah. Thanks for all the birthday wishes. Well one lady she doesn't give a shite. Not a shite does she give oh little snake peek. That's my new t-shirt. It says you can only piss with the Mickey you have. I am wore out from that party. Two year old parties. You'll be extra wore out when it's my 11th birthday. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine it's that. Nine will years be different, so that's. Considerably. Nine times louder. better. It's gonna be nine times better. Right, go on in sit room because you're going to bed in 10 minutes. Go. Go. Uh, 10 minutes. Go on. Go on. 10 